Hey gang, welcome back. Uh, today, we are going to look at some doors. When the Beyond Update introduced the uh, power system, it integrates doors into that power system, and I think that a lot of people are confused by them. So, we're going to show you how to make the doors kind of behave like they did before Beyond. So, there's a door. Got a little couple pieces of tech on the left right here. Moving forward, unlocks, opens up, voila. Okay, now let's go and see just how I did that. Okay, I've got a little demo door set up right over here. Okay, it's a very simple setup. You only need two components, uh, not counting the door. Okay. All right, you're going to need a power inverter. Uh, you'll find all these things in the switches category and we'll put it close to the door. You can actually hide these mechanics. They don't actually need to be right next to the door. They can they can be under the door, uh, behind the door, buried in the ground underneath. They can be hidden in the ceiling up above. Uh, you don't actually need to look at these parts for, for this to work. Uh, however you want to hide them, you can hide them. Okay, the second component is going to be a proximity detector which I'm going to put up above here. Okay. Now, looking at the uh, power inverter, you'll see it's got three terminals, one marked with green lights, one marked with red lights, and then a center terminal marked with no lights. So, the power for my generator is going to go into the green side right here. So we'll just uh, put that right here and here. Okay, so that's powering the power inverter. We also need to extend it up to power the proximity detector. Okay. Now we want to run a wire from the output terminal of the proximity detector to the center terminal of the power inverter. It's important. If you get this wrong, the door will just uh, close when you get closer and, and open when you get far away. And we wanted to do the opposite of that. Okay, so make sure that you're plugging it into the correct terminal. That's the one that's not marked with any lights. All right, now we just take the output terminal of the power inverter and we attach it to the door. Okay, and now, backing away, door closes up. Moving forward, door opens, just like the old doors. There you are. Easy peasy. Just takes a moment to set up. Um, the only tricky part is sometimes hiding these things. Uh, but you can tuck them in kind of out of the way places, or you can put them underneath the floorboard, and nobody has to look at them at all. Uh, anyway, that's all it is for now. Um, Thanks for watching my YouTube video. Hope it was helpful to somebody. And I'll see you in the galaxy.